Okay, the last of the required items to be on your store region is the delivery relay, which is very similar to the transaction relay. In the same way, uh, the delivery relay does not need to be actually physically in the store, it just needs to be anywhere on the region. It can be on a platform or in the back room or on the roof or whatever you want. The purpose of the delivery relay is quite similar to the transaction relay in that it takes information and only forwards it on to the proper destination if that destination is available. In this case, it's the delivery of items from a vendor and the communication to the inventory server, which is then eventually going to deliver the item to the customer. In previous versions, the vendor itself would send information to the inventory server and ask it to deliver the product to the customer when a customer purchased from that vendor. Uh, the problem that arose there is that if the inventory server is offline, for instance, let's say the region that the inventory server lives on is being restarted, that request is lost and the customer then has to use the redelivery terminal to get that item delivered to them. Well, the purpose of the delivery relay is to prevent that by accepting the information from the vendor and then only forwarding it on to the inventory server if the inventory server is actually available. So the delivery relay will hold items inside of it and queue them up. And if the server is unavailable, it'll just keep queuing them up. When the server does come back online, then the delivery relay will ask the server to send the items that have been queued up. Just like the transaction relay, if you watch that video, the delivery relay can use a backup. So uh, while this holds 100 transactions, it can you can res more of them, another one for example, and hold um, 200 for the second one, etc. Um, you'll use the same number of delivery relays as you will transaction relays, um, which again um, is covered in the previous video. Uh, but basically, if you can do 100 transactions in an hour, then it's a good idea to have more than one of them rest, have two of them rest. Otherwise, most stores, which do less than 100 transactions an hour, will be fine with um, having just one rest. And lastly, there is one circumstance in which the delivery relay is not required. And I'll go over that in the vendor tutorial. But basically, if you're using local mode in the vendors, which would be local box mode or local folder mode, you won't need a delivery relay because obviously the vendors don't need to deliver anything from the inventory server. They're delivering it themselves from their own inventory. So that's the only circumstance in which you won't need a delivery relay. But otherwise, even if the inventory server is on the store region, you still want to have a delivery relay in case the inventory server has any issues. So that's the delivery relay.